Disclaimer! Most of the world doesn't share your opinion. Warning. Proceeding without caution will bring you into spoiler territory for the media displayed on screen. Timestamps are gifted in the description and comment section. Your discretion is advised. that this is the opener of the series, it's no surprise that this is what I would probably consider to be my favorite American Dad episode of all time. When I ask myself what is or would be my favorite episode from the show, really the only episode that comes to mind is Hot Water. It's an episode that I often find myself rewatching as well. The plot of the episode is very out there compared to the rest of American Dad, not really seeming to fit writing-wise with everything else the show has done, and it follows Stan being stressed out to the point that he's convinced by Principal Lewis to get a hot tub. Which, by the way, the chemistry between Kevin Michael Richardson, who plays Lewis and Michael Penna, who plays Marguerite, the hot tub store owner, is off the fucking chain. There's something about the vibe between them that makes me feel like they've been friends since childhood, even though we've never seen Marguerite before this episode. Stan ends up choosing a used hot tub from the 70s after it mysteriously calls out to him, which then it's soon revealed that the hot tub is alive, speaks, and can sing and rap, and voiced by CeeLo Green, who also occasionally pops up in live action throughout the episode. The hot tub is a single man's party tub, which was used by a partier, but was abandoned once he found himself a girl and got married. So naturally, the hot tub has a vendetta against family and tries and succeeds in tearing apart the Smith household. And in the end, it ends up killing Principal Lewis, Marguerite, Francine, and finally Stan. Now, the reason why Stan dies and the entire episode as a whole just feels like a black sheep is because this was going to be the final episode of American Dad. The people working on the show had no idea if they were going to get picked up for another season and thought that they were most likely going to get canceled. So they made this as the show finale that kills the main character. And I love every bit of that. I love how this show had the possibility of this being its final scene. Bye, Stan! When the tub gets out of control, just use some of this spa down to calm it down. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's our story. Stan's dead. Good night. But while I like how the story is different from any other American Dad episode, the thing that really pulls this episode together and makes it so rewatchable for me personally is the back-to-back -back bangers that were brought for this. Yeah, not only does the plot of the episode differ from the standard American Dad writing, the format also differs with this basically being a musical. You can't go five minutes without another song playing, and lucky for this episode, every single song hits. My love for these songs may be fueled by the fact that CeeLo is a part of them, and you can definitely hear his production in the songs, but all that does is, like I've previously established, is just make back-to-back -back bangers. And also, I found out while writing this that the music was written by the brother of one of the Lonely Island members? I I I'm sorry, what the fuck? <laughs> Dip a Toe is short and simple, but very funky and ear catchy. I've, I've gotten that vocal chop dip, 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 dip the toe. stuck in my head multiple times. Do Whatever You Like is another funky Zadie Pop vibe that includes such a great sounding guitar. I can only soak a minute. I can't stay longer than that. And then the song goes into a classical R&B vibe with Francine, which... As much as I love this soundtrack in this episode, this is probably the part I like the least. I just don't really like Wendy Shell's delivery of the lines, and her voice doesn't sound like it fits all that well with this style of instrumentation. But luckily, that only lasts for a couple seconds before we go back into the original 80s beat, which I think suits Wendy's voice a lot more. And I also like the lines... Frustration versus relaxation, uh -huh. Which I think perfectly describes the whole plot of the episode. So what's it gonna be? 
Why don't we go in home, big bro? Daddy's Gone is the only song that got a proper release on streaming services, and that's a fucking crime because this whole episode's soundtrack should have gotten an official release. But nonetheless, Daddy's Gone ends up being a parody song that turns itself around into actually being kind of emotional. The song manages to give me chills every time the chorus kicks in. And my god, the second time around, it just wrenches at my heartstrings for some reason. Doing Research is another funky 80s banger that continues to hit on that parody of 80s movies and just general researching scenes and movies, but my god, if... Doing research, doing research. So much freaking research. So much. ...doesn't get stuck in my head. Psychotic Hot Tub is a faster paced track that features CeeLo rapping at some pretty quick and rapid fire speeds that I can't help but not love, especially when it gets to the chorus like section. I'm psychotic. Hot tub. I got it. Locked up. But of course, there's the track that is probably the most well known one, and in my opinion, is the best track in the entire episode Hot Tub of Love. What can I say about this? It's such a bop. It's filled to the brim with ear candy. It seems to know all the right notes to hit to just sound so fantastic. Wendy's singing on the chorus is euphoric. The countdown towards the tail end of the song conjures up a bit of nostalgia for me because almost the same exact countdown happens in Alan Walker's 135. Three, two, one. We have liftoff. Which in 2014, aka the best year of my life, that song along with a lot of Alan Walker's classics for the soundtrack to that year, but I digress. I don't know what else I can say about Hot Tub of Love. If you've seen the episode before, I'm pretty sure this is a thing you remember the episode for, or at least that was the case for me. I only knew the episode for this song, and anytime I wanted to rewatch it, I would always look up American Dad Hot Tub of Love episode. It wasn't until recently that I was able to really remember the name of the episode and where it's at, and now I just remember it for a lot more. More, like having such an incredible soundtrack. My god, I just love it. I, I, I want a physical copy of this thing. I wish it was out on streaming services. I would probably put it on the list of my favorite soundtracks of all time. This episode just brought out all the bangers. I also wasn't aware until the day I decided to write the script and went and listened to a playlist with the entire soundtrack. Side note, shout out to this guy. He's a real hero for doing this. But the credits of the episode feature a, like... I don't know, 80s through 2010s combination remix of Hot Tub of Love, and it's also a fucking banger, and it lasts for like 30 seconds. God, I would love to have entire full versions of each of these songs. Why the fuck has this not been made? So yeah, that's why Hot Water is my favorite American Dad episode. It stands out amongst the entire show, the story is really entertaining, the soundtrack is incredible, and I just can't get enough of it. And again, I just love how this could have been the finale of the entire show. The last episode we would ever see of American Dad being such a far cry from the usual writing, a massive homage to 80s movies with earworms for days, and then it just kills off the main character, and the final lines just say it like it is. Well, there you have it. That's our story. Stan's dead. Good night. It's truly just an amazing and incredibly fun episode on every watch, and if you haven't already seen it, I highly recommend it. And final little note, this is also Scott Grimes, the voice of Steve Smith's favorite episode as well. Glad to know he's a man of culture. But all I knew was, dad is gone. And we're not going home ever again.
sure you figured that out already.